while weather, lightning storm creates spectacular show over Perth, blacks out homes. A dramatic electrical storm has brought lightning and some rain to Perth, as well as parts of southern Western Australia, leaving thousands of people without power for part of the night. The storm late on Thursday night created widespread excitement as it blanketed Perth and surrounding areas with huge lightning strikes. The Bureau of Meteorology BOM, said it was caused by a surface trough combined with some instability over the southern half of the state. However, despite the impressive sky show, the storm did not produce significant rainfall over Perth. The city has recorded just 2.4 mm of rain since 9 a.m. on Wednesday, although Pierce northeast of the city has recorded 29.8 mm. While the rain mostly failed to arrive, the power cuts did, with more than 7,000 homes blacked out overnight as a result of the lightning strikes. Western Power said homes in Perth, Maura, Bindoon, Wangan Hills and Dalwalainu were affected. About 500 homes in Perth remain without electricity, along with 1,500 to the north of the city and 200 to the south. Western Power said electricity to those properties should be restored quickly. Lightning starts house fire. Lightning is also believed to have started a house fire in the southern suburb of Parkwood. The blaze started in the roof of the home on Ropel Drive just after 3.30 a.m., but a family managed to escape the property unhurt. Firefighters said the roof appeared to have been struck by lightning. The damage bill has been estimated at $250,000. Meanwhile, Perth Airport said the lightning storm had caused delays to about 25 flights. Both inbound and outbound flights were affected an airport spokeswoman said. Passengers were advised to check airline website for the latest information. A bomb spokesman said the thunderstorm would remain over Perth for most of the day, but was unlikely to produce widespread heavy rainfall. Duty forecaster Noel Pusey said some areas of the city may get up to 20 mm of rain, but the falls would be isolated. Mr. Pusey said the storm was not unusual during the summer and autumn period.